defense of primary indicators had knelt and prayed the rosary in front of Westminster Cathedral on the piazza. And we're going to be delivering a letter to Cardinal Nichols. We came here today to pray for Cardinal Nichols and for all the Bishops of England and Wales in relation to the sex education program, which is being imposed on Catholic schools, like all schools around the country. This program and its guidelines is clearly incompatible with Catholic teaching. The bishops think that they have up until now been teaching sex education in accordance with, with Catholic principles and will continue to do so, but they have not actually addressed the specific issues, such as the requirement of the government guidelines that same-sex marriage be presented as being of equal value and dignity as Christian marriage. As a layman, husband and father, I wish to protect my children and I call upon the cardinals and the bishops to help us to do that. Protect our children from allowing the push of this evil agenda on our youngest and our most innocent. Natural fathers at this time need to step forward and to protect their children and implore Our Lady's help and correct their bishops, ask them actually to lead parents and the public in resisting this wicked legislation. The bishop's been newly appointed, so he's sent us a response which basically says that the church, has, church schools have been teaching sex education the whole time and that they believe that what they're doing is in accordance with church teaching and that the current legislation doesn't impinge on the rights of parents of those children. Uh, my concern is for that, that the legislation has been allowed to go so far and then we have nothing to come back on to say we wish our children to be taken out of these classes, to be protected from this evil and immoral education. And as a father, of children in these schools, I am concerned that I can protect them on that front. And that's what I would be asking the bishops to ensure and to really stand up and show a, a zeal for Christ and for his innocent children and a fervor for their souls. The bishops are ultimately responsible for Catholic schools, for any institution calling itself Catholic, um, to make you sure that it is genuinely Catholic. The lay people, on the other hand, are the consumers of this education. It is asked the fathers of families who are sending our children to these schools, and it's we have to assure ourselves that this is the appropriate thing to do. It is us who have the ultimate responsibility as primary educators of our children, and we will be responsible for God for their moral formation. Canon law is very clear that we must bring our concerns of this kind to our pastors, including our bishops. Um, and that is what we are doing. The view has become widespread that lay people can slough off their responsibility for their children to schools, uh, to the government, and the Catholic context, perhaps to priests. Um, and that is something which we are very concerned to counter. It is the specific obligation of fathers. Their fathers have a specific calling to be the protectors of their family. Um, and I think it is appropriate for fathers to take the lead in this initiative.